All right, let's start with creating your account, getting it all set up so that you unlock all the features and you can send emails, everything within Hero and start making money. So the first thing we wanna do is come over here to creator settings and we're gonna go through the integrations. We're gonna go through phone, domain, and email. So let's start with email because you must have your email connected in order for listeners to receive their access email to your show. So to connect your email, click email, and then select which type you're using. Are you using SendGrid, Gmail, or do you have another service? where you enter in the SMTP services. So with SendGrid, you enter in the email, the API key, Gmail, you just click connect to your Gmail account. And then the SMTP, please go to your service provider, look up what their server host is, the port number, all the details, so that you get it correct. Once you have it set up, hit save. And then also I highly recommend that you test the connection to make sure that it is working correctly. When you hit test connection, you will get an email in your inbox that says this is a test email. So make sure that you test the connection. All right, next, let's go over to integration. We have a number of different integrations and let's start out with the AI Writer Bot. So the AI Writer Bot is available in a lot of different fields. It'll help you automatically write titles and summaries. But in order to do that, you need to have your OpenAI key set up. You can also access it from over here. So to get your OpenAI key, head over to OpenAI, otherwise known as ChatGPT, and set up your account. And in that account, you can create an API key. So create the API key, copy that key, and then paste it into here and hit save. Important, you must have a paid account within OpenAI in order for their API keys to work. Next, connecting your Stripe account. If you plan to use the Hero sales page to collect payment for your shows, then you will need to connect a Stripe account. You can create an account for free by clicking sign up and walking through the steps to sign up. Once you have your account, click connect. And what you will receive is a pop-up where you will see that account, you select it to connect. Once it's connected, you will see it here so that you can disconnect it later if you want to. All right. Now let's move in to phone. Under phone, you can set your opt-out messages. Example, if you're in another country or another language, and you can connect a phone number so that you can use these features over here. So Hero supports both Twilio numbers and Telnix numbers. And you can create a number in Twilio and Telnix for maybe about a dollar a month. And once you create that number, you will see on the dashboard, you'll see the account information, which you copy and paste into here and hit connect. Once you hit connect, you will be able to select the number from a, a list shown in your account. Now, no messages will be saved or sent until your number is authenticated by Twilio or Telnix. This is a new regulation by the FCC that you must go through the authentication process before sending any messages. We have a number of help documents in our customer support so that you can get help going through the authentication process. So if you're not getting your text messages sent, it's because you need to go through that authentication process. Last, let's go into domains. So you can connect a domain to your account so that the sales page is that domain or your profile page is that domain. And to connect a domain, you put in the domain and you can put in whatever you want. It can be a subdomain or the main domain. If, for example, your website is the main domain, then put in a subdomain 
for the shows on Hero. Click continue and then enter these details into your hosting provider. You need to create a C name record. You need to add in the name and the value that is displayed on the next page. Once you've done that, you can check the status, but it takes about an hour for the information to propagate. So if you check the status and it says pending still, come back a little bit later and check again. And after that's all done, you are now ready to use that in your shows. You can, in your settings, you can now add in your own, let me go into sales page actually. You can use your own domain for the sales pages here. You can also use it for the profile page. Use your own domain. All right. So that is setting up your account pretty quick, pretty easy. But if you have any questions or problems, go ahead, click this little button below and talk to one of our support agents.